All right. Three more to go. You guys feeling good? Yeah. You know, the bar is still open. Okay, Randy Cox, founder and CEO of Pricing Healthcare. Ready for this? I'm ready. I'm ready. We're all ready. Let's do it. We are all affected by uh, rising healthcare costs in this country. It is a very real, very large problem. And pricing healthcare is an Expedia or, or kayak like experience for healthcare services. And we let people um, compare not, not insurance prices, but actual procedure level. Uh, healthcare prices across all the facilities in their area. So you want to find a price for a MRI or a CAT scan or something. Uh, we show that for all the hospitals and doctors' offices in your area. So the the uh, the recent shift in employer um, healthcare plans uh, has resulted in millions and millions of new people in high deductible plans, and some uh, some employers are getting out of the healthcare benefits uh, market altogether. Uh, one of the reasons for this is they think that if, if consumers have skin in the game, that they'll be able to control prices. The, the employers are, are fed up with, with paying all the increased prices. So what you're seeing is where a lot of people a couple years ago were not, didn't have any, uh, any qualms with expensive medical bills. Now they all of a sudden uh, have this concern. So this is a really timely timely issue. There are just about every major newspaper in this country, uh, all the big websites, uh, every city, every state legislature in the country is talking about health care pricing all over the place. You guys, I'm sure, are getting tired of it. Um, it is everywhere. <clears throat> the, uh, the Time News article, sorry, the, the, uh, the Time cover story, uh, Bitter Pill by Stephen Brill, is uh, definitely not the first, but it's one of the largest treatments on this subject. Uh, the reason this is coming to a head is that uh, the, the number of Americans who are not able to uh, cover their health care bills or who are actually foregoing care because of cost, it's getting close to that 50% threshold. So uh, it's, it's amazing it's getting that high. <clears throat> there are also uh, health care insurance prices are expected to rise somewhere between 35 and 50% on average this year and in Ohio alone it's going up 80 percent in one year. Uh, a lot of that is Obamacare but a lot of that is just the consolidation that's happening in the industry. So the whole market just begs for a solution. Uh, you know users want something simple like, uh, oh, I can't do this with one hand here. Can I? You know they want to be able to you know type in a, a procedure code or a description and see all the pricing for the facilities in their in their area. The the area you're seeing here is Provo, Utah. We're we're down in American Fork, but um, some of the pricing is actual pricing in the San Francisco area. There can be thousands of dollars of difference in prices, and we make it really easy for people to see the differences, and not only in the the list price which you would pay if you're uninsured, but also the average insured price and the uh, the cash price. So. You know, what we're doing here is dead simple, right? It, being able to go online and find out what everyone else is charging so you can find the lowest price is something that is possible in every other industry in America, every industry except healthcare. Healthcare, you can't do that. Uh, you're probably asking, well, why, why hasn't someone else doing this? And we ask the same thing. Uh, there are a few companies that have tried over several years to get this data. The answer is they cannot get the data. It's just, it's impossible. The uh, healthcare industry has no incentive uh, to share any of it, and and it's almost impossible to get the uh, the doctors, the hospitals. They won't share their price lists. So, so the solution we've come up with is, um, you know, if you could get all the the wealth of information that that they send us on our bills and put it all together in one site, you'd have a gold mine of, of data. So we actually let consumers come to our site and anonymously share a single item from one of their medical bills and then we open up the world of pricing to them on our site. So uh, we also keep track of their bills as they enter additional information. We let them uh, store it on the cloud. We, uh, we have ways for them to catch errors on their bills and even help them to negotiate uh, some bills down where they feel like prices are too high. So uh, just real quick, I can show you the 
you know, what it looks like. We make it really easy for people. They can uh, select their healthcare facility, their insurance plan, and uh, and then we just ask for a small amount of information on their bill, the date of service, uh, the medical code, a price or two, and uh, and then they're able to see you know all the pricing for their area. So we're going live in uh, June. So our beta is going out that month, and we are looking for. We actually have an Indiegogo uh, crowdfunding campaign going right now. So if you go to our site, you can see the video and get the link to that. And uh, uh, we're we're really hoping to make this free or really really cheap for a lot of people and, and help people save on healthcare costs. Nice work, Randy. Uh, can I just kick it up by asking, what is the true incentive for somebody to start plugging in all of their their medical data? other than being altruistic and wanting to help everybody else? Oh, the real incentive is that people can't afford their health care costs. Uh, you can save thousands of dollars by just going to a different provider. So that's the biggest incentive. Uh, you know, 25 to 40 percent of Americans aren't able to even afford care. So it's, for them, it's not a matter of nice to have. It's, it's you know, we can't get health care unless we can find a cheaper price. So the, the people we've talked to so far, uh, people are really excited about the idea. And, I say, oh, sure, I'll enter some, some uh, information for my bill. It's, it's a no-brainer for them. So quick question, just aside from, you know, whether I would want to come and enter that, I, I, I really don't know. Are there any, you know, kind of laws or regulations around me actually putting this data out there? No, you got it on your bill, so it's yours. So there's nothing to prevent you from submitting it. So good question. Do you have any way of validating or cross-checking things that people enter in? I mean, someone could enter any Yeah, values. sure. So, so we do have patent pending on some technologies to, to uh, th use some statistical analysis, throw out outliers, uh, find uh, you know, the, those, those main points where the pricing is. So, so that's all happening on the back end uh, in, in our system so that we can, and we do, we do have a way to invalidate not only data submitted by users, but entire users if, if we can detect that they're consistently putting in uh, bad data. My question is piggybacking off of the same. Um, I recently went through several medical bills for my son about nine months ago, who was in the NICU for uh, a few extra days than we had anticipated. I'm not sure that I could even read all of my medical bills. And like, like he was saying, how do you validate that? And you're saying that you do have some sort sort of system to do so, then at what point would you be able to rely on that data and not use the consumer? So, so we we we'll always will need to rely on consumer data. Although we do supplement uh, with whatever data we can get, and there is an increasing number of hospitals and facilities who want to share their data with us because we make it really easy for them to to publish because they don't have to do it themselves. But we do rely on consumer data, um, but we do cross-check it against, against other data. Did that answer your question? You said uh, you want to build a little bit of, of a service that's like a kayak.com or an Expedia for healthcare pricing. Have you ever thought about um, taking the approach that, like, say, using the travel analogy that Priceline.com uses, where you could let people bid on healthcare prices or healthcare services and then match them with providers as a potential monetization for your service? Yeah, there are actually uh, two or three companies out there trying to do that, and they have not gotten much traction. Uh, we, we certainly would be open to, uh, to working with providers that were interested in that if, if there is an interest, but I, I'm not, we're not sure if there is. So... Uh, we do want to uh, eventually move into the space of letting people actually purchase some care online, though I think that would be a big incentive for providers. Um, just wondering if it's uh, convenient to have somebody scan their bill into your system, just like uh, when I deposit my checks into my checking account, I just take a picture of it. Very convenient and very insecure. We're, we're nervous about HIPAA laws and things like that. So. Uh, we're we're looking at ways to uh, automate some of this and make make electronic data transfers more real, uh, so that we can de-identify first. Great question. Um, so I have no idea about healthcare bills um, that I get. I just pay them, and it sucks. Um, <laughs> so my question is. 
Uh, does this cover like so a CT scan? I don't. I don't even. I have not had one done. So I, like, let's say there's like anesthesia involved. Do you guys do sure. like a breakdown of what the anesthesia cost is? And yes. So it it kind of is like an itemized like breakdown of what a full procedure would be. Or right. Right. We show you the line items. There are a few things that are bundled. Some surgeries and things like that are actually bundled, and you can just do a single price for the whole thing. But we generally show you pricing for the line items. Anesthesia, anesthesiology actually is, is charged by time. So if you entered a code for that, we'd probably ask, we'd ask you how long you were on the anesthesia. Um, so. what's, your, what's your business model? So, so our model is big data. This, this data is being hunted down by state governments, the federal government, Medicare, Medicaid, uh, corporations. Everyone wants this data. You, you would not believe this. Insurance brokers, we actually have the ability to get uh, data that's specific to an insurance provider. Uh, they would love to know what insurance companies negotiate the best rates. So, other than finding like the cheapest price, is there anything like as a consumer you can do to n use this data to? Ha do you, what's the consumer experience as far as using this data with their hospital or try trying to negotiate a price? If they've already had service, they they can call and say, I I've got data that says that at these different facilities. Uh, I can get the same service for these lower prices. A lot of providers will lower their rates even after they've sent you the bill if you have some ammunition for negotiation, and this, this would be great. We show you the, all the descriptions and alternate codes so that you could actually be a really informed, educated uh, phone caller. Out of time. Thank you very Randy much. Randy Cox, Pricing Healthcare. That's right. So being in the hotbed of startups back where we live, we often think we're the shit. And it's, it's, it's a beautiful reminder that there's awesome, great stuff going on in other places. And you guys have something here. Yeah. And usually I have more profanities coming out of my mouth, but I'm in Utah now, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> 